On today's episode of How to Brew, I'm gonna teach you how to make the best beer I've ever made. And make sure to stick around until the very end for Dan's tips, where I give you the top three things that made this beer awesome. Brew! coolest show in the history of television. Welcome back to Titan Brew TV, where we talk all things beer. As always, I'm your drunken leader, Dan the Beer Man Grant. On today's episode, we're gonna brew one of my favorite styles, the Imperial Stars. But before we get started, let's get the shameless plug out of the way. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? The stout we're brewing today is called The Duke. Yes, this beer was inspired by the man himself. Howdy there, partner. And like The Duke, these beers are not for the faint at heart. And if abused, we'll kick your Cool beans. We start our day off by building the Jesus water. For this beer, we start with six gallons of distilled water for the mash and two gallons of distilled water for the sparge. Once the water is in the mash kettle, it's time to add our magic dust. Now it's time to add our grain. Today's grain bill comes in at a massive 17 pounds and two ounces. During stirring, make sure to eliminate any dry pockets of grain to help conversion during the mash. Make sure to check that mash pH 10 minutes in. Today's mash pH we're shooting for is 5.3 to 5.4. After pH is reached, set a 60 minute timer. During this time, grab a beer as we shamelessly plug our merch. Let's get this money. Now that 60 minutes has passed, it's time to begin the mash out process and collect our 6.6 .6 gallons of wort. Bring the collected wort to a boil and set a 60 minute timer and follow the hop addition schedule here. Or here. Or maybe, I don't know. Damn! With the boil complete, it's time to cool the wort to an acceptable yeast pitching temperature. Today we are using White Labs American Ale Blend and we'll shoot for a temperature of 65 degrees. Hold on, what, what? Right. Degree. After the temperature is reached, transfer the wort to our fermentation vessel and pitch our sweet beer making friends. Store in a dark room for 14 days and bingo bango, you got beer. The Duke comes in at a perfect 8.8 .8 ABV, highlighted by its epic roasted chocolatey goodness. And if this beer isn't as epic as watching an eagle drop a goat off a cliff, then I'm not Dan, the Beer Man Grant. And now it's time for Dan's tips of the day. Tip number one, grain base should consist of 70% base malt up to 10% crystal malt and no more than 10% between black malt and roasted bark. Tip number two, shoot for a mass pH between 5.3 and 5.4. That just <laughs> happened. And Dan's final tip of the day, sport a healthy BUGU ratio between 0.75 and one. If you enjoyed today's craziness, make sure to tell, pound that like button, ring that bell. Otherwise, no brews for you! And if you have any brewing ideas or requests, make sure to comment below and let Dan know. Until next time, I've been Dan. You've been awesome. Hey guys, I just want to thank you again for watching today's video and support my new channel. I'm a stay-at-home dad, and I created this channel as a way to spend more time with my son and hopefully give him a better life. Say hi, Jamie. We have t-shirts and merch down below and new videos coming out weekly. You can also click here for more Titan. Dan, are you whoring out our son again?